So one of the things that I really learned from my my teacher, Max Strom, was to the first thing that we really need to ask is how does a child learn how to walk? How does a child learn how to talk? They follow you. They model you. They are picking up subconsciously all the time from their environment around them. How does a child learn um, various curse words? Well, <clears throat> from you. You might let a few drop and then they show up on the playground, much to your embarrassment. And how does a child learn how to manage their emotions? When we heal ourselves, when we are able to step into our own emotions and take responsibility for them, the child, whether they're uh, small or whether they're adult children, will also pick up on that. So, for example, if you were to say to a child, I'm feeling really angry right now. So you're welcoming anger, you know, into the room because we all have it. It's, it's a valid, important emotion. Imagine if we didn't have anger. I'm feeling angry right now. I'm just going to, I'm going to have to go and just step outside, get some fresh air Take a few deep breaths and I'm going to come back in because you know that I'm nicer when I do that. Imagine that message that that gives to the child or anyone around you. And when we heal our emotions and we share that with our children, not even in a teaching moment, but a sharing moment, because I don't know about you, but in my experience, my kids don't want me teaching them, especially being a therapist. But when we're able to share that with them, just off the cuff, and we're able to model that, they are going to pick up on that. And they know if you're faking it. They know if you're covering something up, even if you're not saying it. Again, they're picking up all those subconscious cues in your movement, in your breath, in your eye contact, your facial expression. Our kids are in tune. How does a child learn how to set boundaries when you set boundaries? How does it, even if they don't do it right away, they do remember these lessons. And what did Maya Angelou say? It's not how it's, you don't remember always what a person said, but you do remember how they made you feel. So when we're talking about healing ourselves, we are actually talking about an energetic shift in yourself that does affect your children, affects the people around you, and even affects the community that you are in. So when it comes to anxiety, I just want to ask you, how do you manage your own, in, in children, how do you manage your own anxiety? And sometimes it's anxiety about them. How and, and do you do you have ways to manage it? And do you share that with them? Because you no know, matter where you're at, if you're a grandparent, you you're never too old. You're never too young. You're um, never too anxious to start this right now. And so that's why I want to tell you more about the Alive Empath membership group. And for those of you on my mailing list, I'll be uh, visiting your inbox again tomorrow to tell you more about it. And um, because I know that your healing in your body is not only for you, it's for people around you and it is for the world. So I'll see you again tomorrow 
and I'll give you more details. Bye for now.